Hello everybody, I'm Carlos Gontov. Welcome to my channel where you can learn English watching scenes from movies and TV programs. Today I'm gonna talk to you about the future. I'm gonna talk to you about the future or I'll talk about the future. One of the good things about watching movies and TV series is that you see language as it's used in real life. When you learn English in books, there are a lot of grammar rules and we study the rules and we try to speak correctly. But in real life, people don't always follow the grammar rules. For example, when you study the future, you learn the difference between will and going to. And we learn that we use will when we make a prediction or when we decide something at the moment of speaking. And that we use going to when something has been decided before, when it's a plan. This is all right, but in real life, people sometimes mix them up. It's very common in a conversation you see people ask a question with will and the other person answers with going to or vice versa. Let's take a look at some scenes. See if you notice the use of will and going to. This is my agent, so I have to take this. Um, I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm gonna cook you dinner, okay? I'll make dinner, okay? Is she gonna be okay? Yeah, she will. He's gonna leave me. He won't. Yeah, he will. He is. I mean, I know it. If I'm working with her and sleeping with you, she's going to figure it out. She won't. She will. Just tell me that you will fix it, okay? Just tell me that. I'm gonna fix it. Grandma, be okay. Of course, baby. Everything's gonna be just fine. This isn't going to work. Sure it will. It will work. Did you notice the big confusion people sometimes make? Let's take a look at the scenes again with subtitles. This is my agent, so I have to take this. Um, I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm gonna cook you dinner, okay? I'll make dinner, okay? In this scene, the guy says, I'm gonna cook you dinner, I'll make dinner, everything together. So, is it something he decided at the moment, or was it a plan? Is she gonna be okay? Yeah, she will. In this scene, the girl asks, is she gonna be okay? And the father answers, yes, she will. So, in the question, we heard going to, in the answer, we heard will. He's gonna leave me. He won't. Yeah, he will. He is. I mean, I know it. This is a big confusion because Christina says, he's gonna leave me, and Meredith said, no, he won't. And then Christina says, he will, he is. So, he will leave me, he is gonna leave me. Everything is mixed up. If I'm working with her and sleeping with you, she's going to figure it out. She won't. She will. Again, we have a mixture of will and going to. She's going to figure it out. She won't. She will. Just... Tell me that you will fix it, okay? Just tell me that. I'm gonna fix it. In this scene, Alicia says, tell me that you'll fix it. And Peter says, I'm gonna fix it. So the first sentence had will, the second sentence had going to. Grandma be okay. Of course, baby. Everything's gonna be just fine. Here she says, will grandma be okay? And he answered, everything's gonna be fine. So will in the question, go into in the answer. This isn't going to work. Sure it will. It will work. Again, we have will and going to all mixed up. He says, this isn't going to work. Yes, it will, it'll work. When we study English in books, we have a lot of rules, everything is very organized, but real life is messy sometimes, and it's okay. Look, I'm not saying that grammar is not important. Grammar is important, it's important to know the rules, it's important to know how to speak correctly, and it's important to know how to write correctly. But just remember that in real life, people don't follow all the grammar rules all the time. 
So if you don't speak according to the grammar rules, it's okay because native speakers don't always follow the rules. I'm sure you don't follow all the rules when you speak your native language, right? Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!